Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester. Welcome back to Single Player Space Engineer Survival. Okay, so quite a bit has been accomplished. Uh, well, the cargo ship is... Eh, I'd say a third of the way done, if not halfway done. Although, that said, I... F I mm. This is one of those things that's nit that is nitpicking me, which is the whole um, cargo bay. Because I prefer having things easily accessible, just in case something gets damaged, um, engineers are there to quickly fix it, but at the same time... This is an economic ship. Well, so is that. But uh, you, with a cargo ship, you would actually want to maximize your um, available cargo space. But again, at the same time, I have... Uh, so, I'm trying to override my OCD with regards to this uh, design, but I was going to go with the classic uh, box, like I had started with the Mega Miner, but um, my little engine bump out wings started to take over. But at the same time, I love it. I mean, just look at this, how it just flows into the design except for right here because there's no mud or vanilla piece that uh, marries these two together <coughs> mod developers <coughs> anyway so I've actually been at this for over two hours I do have a time-lapse video but uh... It's kind of late, and I don't don't think I'd have the time to add it to uh, the end of this video. So it'll probably be in tomorrow's video, because I plan to keep pressing forward. Anyway, but what do you think of the reactor system? I had thought about leaving these on their own as standalone, but then it hit me. This is a waste of space. I mean, I could fill these. I mean, I knew I was going to have to fill them with conveyors or conveyor tubes so that way they were fueled. But then I realized, how are they going to get fueled? And all those other little tidbits. So, yeah. Anyway. Also, I had started the power generation uh, calculation where I added a thruster calculated do I have enough power to run it and then I realized I have plenty of power it's just I'm only going to be moving in three directions not all six so having the uh, six clusters like this might be overkill but at the same time it looks so cool I'm gonna roll with it so yeah Lots and lots of progress. Also, I did not know that you have to press T to access the inventory now. When did this happen? And why? Okay, info, triangles, grid, mass. Oh, PG, you're not going to tell me. Well, it is still a station. I'm not launching this just yet. Also, as you can see, the Mega Miner, well, the new Mega Miner is, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been, uh, almost 100% scrapped. Also, thank you for letting me know. I forgot to put the Mega Miner in the description in the last video. It, it'll be there now. Also, it'll be in this one, just in case you guys didn't uh, see it. 
Sorry, I told you I'm utter crap at this. Maybe I should start doing annotations. Eh. I really need to start doing that. Alrighty. I also added a large azimuth container to the back end because I really wanted to scrap that. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of advanced con thruster components. I'm also going to install a shuttle bay just so that way you can actually dock the uh, a shuttle in it. Well, hopefully a shuttle. Alright, I filled up my oxygen. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, heck yes. Thank you. Of course, I don't have enough space. Okay, the thrusters aren't really that important right now since it's still a station. Okay, how many thrusters do I have on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have five over here, so I just need to add the one more. Alrighty. The nice thing about um, doing symmetry in a single player, well, in. Um, Crap, I forgot the build mode I'm in. Survival. <laughs> Brain fart moment. The nice thing about building on one side is when you start building the other side, it is so much easier because you actually know what the heck you are doing most of the time. Okay. I just load the world, so. Hmm. So yeah, tomorrow's uh, Thursday. I just think it's gonna be bug fixes. I mean. They haven't been really adding that much. Of course, a black hole would be nice, but <laughs> I think that's a little too extreme. <laughs> okay, let's look at the other side. Okay, yep. And yada, yada, yada. So, building. So, needless to say, this might be the first ship that I will 100% complete in uh, single player survival. Reason being, this is much smaller, it's not supposed to do much other than uh, carry cargo, and I'm gonna expand that to passengers. So there's gonna be a small little passenger area towards the front. The only thing is, I'm not quite sure how long to make the uh, little wing bump out right here like do I do it all the way across the ship or just a part of it I'm still working that out in my head because it is extra space while at the same time adding so much more uh, what's the word <sighs> another brain fart moment adding so much more detail well, at least in my head. Alrighty, so yeah. Oop. Alright. And boop, 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 boop. And I'm seeing a lot of requests for ships like uh, the Eclipse or a uh, Executor. Still not going to tell you what the secret project is. 
well, the project that I want to release now. There's another one that I'm going to wait until June. You'll understand why when, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it. Needless to say, <laughs> oh, I'm going to love it. It'll probably be my largest design uh, finished yet. But more on that when uh, the time comes. Okay. So, boop, 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 this is what I've been working on, well, at least for two hours, uh, yesterday. Because after I started, it's like, oh, it's so nice being able to play again. Well, I could have played basic, but... Mm, basic is missing so much. Mainly concrete, mo the concrete mod. Because trying to manage all that stone... No, thank you. Now, of course, this is a civilian ship. Like, this is fully a civilian ship. Like, the Mega Miner might get tasked by the military to actually conduct mining operations. And therefore... Hey! Well, this is purely... Civilian, even though the military could say we need transports to uh, actually defend this against pirates, or I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to add weapons just because it's not supposed to be a military ship. But at the same time, yeah, pirates, oh, especially the pirates. Ooh, not happy fun times. And we're still sputtering. I hope that's something that gets fixed because that... Ugh, I'm glad I don't suffer from seizures. And... Contact. And boop, thank you. Have a nice day. I mean, I don't think I need that many more advanced thruster components. I just need the uh, forward facing brakes and then the up and down um, thrusters, which I'll put in the engineering room again. Anyone else noticing how I keep the engineering section towards the back? Like, I've just noticed that. I mean, it does make sense, because, well, reasons. Plus, this is the engineering area. Not many people are authorized to be up here. Quickly, quickly. Come on, rotate for me. Thank you. Alright, beep, beep. Heavy uh, ship coming through. Yeah, we're scraping the paint. Why did I run out of large steel tubes? Yup. I mean, I don't really need that many large steel tubes, surprisingly. Boop. So, yeah, this is what I've been uh, getting myself into. Large steel. 
Surprisingly, I don't need that many large steel tubes. That's why I haven't really bothered filling it up all these times. Even though I need to bother filling it up from time, from time to time. There we go. Now I just need the forward facing thrusters and we are good to go, but I'm not launching yet. Until it's finished. Alright. Then need a lot more of you because I like hand welding things. I don't know why, but it's kind of relaxing to weld by hand, even though it's a big pain in the rear. And I just saw a mistake that I need to fix. Also, I'm also thinking about having uh, airlocks right here, just so that way engineers can fly out and go, yep, thruster 10 over here is, well, technically this is thruster 10, because thruster 1 is all the way over there, so thruster 10 needs a little maintenance. It's fluttering. Because you never... Oh, I'm upside down. Ugh. You get disoriented so quickly. Boop. And back it up, back it up, and yep, yep. Oh. Am I about to run into something? Yup. Oh, peachy. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. Progress is very well underway. Ignore that mistake. So, I'm going to let you guys decide. What should I call this? I do like using Latin words. So, mm, although it's kind of hard to remember half of them, but uh, I think I'll let you guys decide, or argue amongst yourselves as YouTube seems to happen sometimes. Really? It says how far I am when I z Oh yeah, that makes sense. Why not the character? Anyway, so I'm going to let you guys uh, come up with ideas for a name for this. Like, what class of cargo hauler should this slash passenger... What would you call that? Like, how would you classify that? A light passenger freighter? I don't know. I just build them. I don't name them. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out the thing over here. Or these little engine nacelle cell bump outs could be uh, all of engineering, and they just house things like housing. Would this fit in here? That would be a big no. It'll fit like this.
Because I do intend to add shields because, well, pirates. But if there's one mod that I kind of want, a natural gravity generator. Because when you think about it, that's how you interdict someone. Sir, they're about to jump into hyperspace. Activate the interdictor and boom. They're going nowhere. Oh, oh no. That would only work. I had thought about moving this bulkhead forward one so I could repair all these, but, uh, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Of course, I could probably move all these containers forward one, well, allowing for a one block gap between them so you could fix them, but at the same time, jeez, I already have... Actually, that's not a bad compromise. Eh, I might do that. Of course, this ship is going to get longer, but... Hey, longer ships kind of look good. At least to me. Yeah. So. You guys decide. What should we call this class? And your comment will appear in the uh, final release video where I do move this onto the Steam Workshop. So, with that said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.